Moranis came to prominence around 1980 in the sketch comedy show Second City Television and later appeared in several Hollywood films, including Strange Brew, Ghostbusters, Spaceballs, Little Shop of Horrors, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and its sequels, Little Giants, Parenthood, The Flintstones, and My Blue Heaven. Since the death of his wife, Moranis has largely retired from acting to devote time to his family. He has not appeared in a live-action film since 1997, although he has provided voiceover work for a few animated films and made appearances at fan conventions. Moranis was born in Toronto, Ontario to a Jewish family. He went to elementary school with Geddy Lee, frontman of the rock band Rush. His career as an entertainer began as a radio disc jockey in the mid-1970s, using the on-air name, Rick Allen, at three Toronto radio stations. In 1980, Moranis was persuaded to join the third season cast of Second City Television, SCTV, by friend and SCTV writer-performer Dave Thomas. At the time, Moranis was the only cast member who had not come from a Second City stage troupe. He became famous for his impressions of Woody Allen, George Carlin and David Brinkley, among many others. With SCTV moving to CBC in 1980, and syndicated to the United States, Moranis and Thomas were challenged to fill two additional minutes with identifiable Canadian content, and created a sketch called The Great White North featuring the characters Bob and Doug McKenzie. By the time NBC ordered 90-minute programs for the U.S. in 1981, the fourth season of SCTV overall, there had been such positive feedback from affiliate on the McKenzies that the network requested that the duo have a sketch in every show. Bob and Doug became a pop culture phenomenon, which led to a top-selling and Grammy-nominated album, Great White North, and the 1983 movie Strange Brew, Moranis' first major film role.